Hi, today I watched another film from my collection of Blu-rays and DVDs. Today I watched the 1994 film, Dumb and Dumber. It's directed by uh, Peter Farrelly and stars Jim Carrey, Jeff Daniels and Lauren Holly. I have not been looking forward to this movie. Uh, I didn't. I knew in 1994 that this movie was not going to be for me, and I've spent 30 years just not watching it. Uh, why am I watching it today? Well, for two reasons really. One, it's in my collection. Two, um, I'm doing this 30 turning 30 series, and I'm trying to cover some of the biggest films of 1994, or at least the, the some of the most popular ones of 1994. And it would be weird not to include this. Um, I would have probably bought it if I didn't already have it, just to include it in this series, because. It was an immensely popular film and um, almost a, a cultural landmark. Um, again, one I, I didn't really want to watch. And having now watched it, my dislike of the film goes beyond just not finding it very funny. Um, if it had just been me not finding it funny, then it wouldn't be very fair to critique it. But there is so much here that is awful that I just... That deserves critique. Let's start with the title, Dumb and Dumber. Dumb is a pejorative term. It is a an ableist term that means that someone who cannot speak. And it implies that someone who cannot speak is also uh, of low intellect. And it is, as I say, it's ableist. It's up there with the R word for me. And it's something I will not use and do not want to hear around me. Um, did I feel like that in 1994? No, it's 2024. I'm talking about me now. Um, big surprise, in 30 years I have grown as a person uh, and I care about these things now and I don't like hearing them around me. So it starts off at a low level. There's other things I really don't like. Jim Carrey's character, it, Lloyd, is a proto-incel. And that might be fine except for the fact that he faces no consequences in this movie at all. Um, he doesn't even lose his friend, despite being a bully towards him. Lloyd is a misogynist. He is only interested in women so that he can have sex. He clearly states that he is not interested in a relationship, or at least he's interested in a relationship until he gets bored of them and moves on. This despite the fact that he cannot get a girlfriend. Um, he is homophobic, he is racist, um, he is a bad person in all ways. And again, this would not necessarily be a problem if in some way there were consequences for his actions, but he doesn't, he doesn't face any. He, the worst thing that happens to him is he doesn't get to keep the money he stole. Even at the end of the movie, when he meets... Um, Lauren Holly's character's husband and he fantasizes about shooting her that has tones of the parasocial relationship people have with uh, celebrities and don't and, and dislike them the second they get a, a, a partner uh, and that's it they've lost interest because they can't have sex with them that is this kind the kind of character that he is I yeah if he if he faced some consequences then it might justify his character as being totally dislikable, but it, there's nothing in it that suggests that this is a bad, this is bad behaviour, other than the fact that we are told that he is stupid. In fact, one of the things I really dislike that the film does for Lloyd is the fact that he's illiterate. Again, we're equating stupidity with a a lack of skills. Not being able to read isn't necessarily about being stupid. It's usually not. It is either a learning disability like dyslexia or a lack of educational resources. It is not about being less intelligent. And to, again, this film equates that with a low intellect. And I don't like it. It's frustrating. Um, just there's, there's nothing in this film I like. Um, I like Jeff Daniels as a person. His character... I've seen worse. Um, he does. He, his his character isn't very well defined, I don't think, because he doesn't seem to struggle in social situations for the most part. But then he gets into a snowball fight with Lauren Holly's character and suddenly um, Mary. That's I've just remembered her name, Mary. And 
suddenly he he doesn't get that they're play fighting. Um, it it's a very yeah, it's a very poor film. It's not one that has lasted, you know, that has aged well at all. Um, I would not watch this film again voluntarily. I think the only way that I would watch this film again is if I changed the context in my head to the fact that Lloyd is an incel and then I can laugh at the incel, except, again, he faces no consequences. So I don't even get the schadenfreude from that. If you've seen this film and you want to leave me a comment and you let me know what you think, I would love to hear it. Let me know in the comments and I will see you tomorrow for another film. Bye.